Our home is under siege by violent criminals. After a meeting with a group of county sheriffs, State Senator Darren Bailey blamed Governor Pritzker for an increase in violent crime since 2019. A spokesperson for the governor blasted Bailey for voting against a law providing millions of dollars for state and local police. Our political editor, Mike Flannery, joins us live now with more on this situation. Mike? Anthony and Sally, Senator Bailey believes violent crime is the issue that will propel his underdog campaign to victory. Illinois violent crime has risen since JB took office and remains above the national average. Illinois has had more than 1,000 homicides in 2020, setting a multi-decade high. Chicago's murder count went up 60% since JB's first year in office. Bailey was speaking in Springfield, uh, flanked by some of the county sheriffs that he met with, uh, and he said that uh, he would work to repeal a law that next January 1st abolishes cash bail. A spokeswoman for Governor Pritzker said in a written statement, quote, with 63 days until Election Day, Darren Bailey has shown once again the only thing his campaign is capable of doing is fear-mongering. Bailey was asked why he voted uh, against a new law to double the number of Illinois state police on expressways and to provide millions of additional dollars to help local departments retain experienced officers. Bailey claimed he did not get enough time to review the new law before it was... And you're given a bill at 3 a.m. in the morning, and, and once it's been amended, then you have about one hour to decipher it and figure things out. Uh, I simply do not trust J.B. Pritzker. I don't trust anything this man says. Uh, so to sit and have the, the, the bare amount of time to look at any of these bills, uh, even when staff hasn't had time to read and understand, and we certainly haven't, uh, you've, th this, is not how, this is not how a constitutional republic uh, should operate. The Pritzker campaign said Senator Bailey's mistaken regarding the timeline of this particular law and that critical features of it were known by lawmakers significantly before the showdown passage vote. I'm political editor Mike Flannery.